Hi, this is Kyle Platts from Shadowcast Productions, and thanks for coming to watch my movie review of Fright Night. So here we are, introduced to the character of Charlie Brewster, a horror movie buff who sees that there are some new neighbors moving into the old creepy place next door. They carry in a coffin the first time we see them, so naturally, Charlie gets a little bit suspicious. I would too. The next night, staying up late watching the house next door, Charlie sees Jerry Dandridge, the neighbor, through the window, and he's got fangs and claws. Uh, this obviously means that he's a vampire, and that's Charlie's first thought too. Charlie begins some spying, and the vampire notices. So Jerry breaks into Charlie's house in the middle of the night, and threatens him that if he doesn't leave him in peace, he'll kill Charlie and his whole family. This proves to Charlie, Jerry is a creature of the night. So he tries telling his mother about the incident, then his girlfriend, whom he's been having some relationship problems with, and once they don't believe him, he turns to horror TV show host, Peter Vincent. The name originates from the names of two real actors of the horror genre, Peter Cushing and Vincent Price. You guys probably already knew that if you're here. He obviously doesn't believe Charlie either, so Charlie begins relying upon himself. He takes things to the extreme by filling his room with all sorts of vampire repelling artifacts. His girlfriend Amy and his best friend Ed come to his house and become worried for him once they see this. So they pay Peter Vincent, who's recently been fired, to convince Charlie that Jerry is not a vampire by calling Jerry and asking permission to come into his house. Jerry agrees, hoping it will get Charlie from revealing his secret to pretty much everybody in the world. Or revealing that vampires exist at all. Peter uses a stage prop full of fake holy water and requests Jerry to drink it. Charlie still isn't convinced, and now Peter may believe in the Nosferatu as well when he sees Jerry does not have a reflection in a mirror. As Charlie and Ed walk Amy home, Ed suggests a shortcut, but Charlie and Amy refuse. Ed takes the alleyway home alone and is confronted by Jerry and tricks Ed into becoming a vampire as well. Afterwards, Jerry chases Charlie and Amy into an 80s techno dance club. When trying to use the payphone to call Peter Vincent, Amy becomes hypnotized and is taken by Jerry. Meanwhile, Peter is attacked by evil Ed in vampire form in his apartment. He just barely saves himself with the power of a cross. Now he agrees to help Charlie save Amy from the Dandridge house. They go in with low hopes and fight an epic but horrifying battle with Jerry until sunrise where they save Amy and everything returns to its original place. Oh wow, that movie's ingenious. Got me out of breath too. If you haven't seen the original, give it a watch. I'll do some more reviews eventually, but for now, Shadowcast is signing off.